So my my background and my co-founders' backgrounds are all in media and entertainment tech. So we've been part of that NAB, IBC community. I'm probably short-lived on the team at 18 years in, in the M&E tech space. Michael Phillips, my co-founder, one of the pioneers of Avid Media Composer with Tom Mohanian, about 27 years to date him. So we have a pretty good insight as to the, the plumbing of the industry, right, from that transition from analog to digital and, uh, and, and knew that ultimately disruption would occur through that process. But it really didn't hit me. I, I had uh, co-founded a company called Radiant Grid, and it was during that exit that uh, I, my sister, who's a costume designer, started pinging me and saying, you know, here's another one. Look, I got this email. Laura, could you please tell me who made the pink hoodie that Sookie was wearing in episode X season Y, right? And, and you started thinking about this as, a, as at, at the data level, right? So at Radiant Grid, we were very concerned about you know, time information, like aspect ratio, color information. And I started thinking, well, well, that's important for computers, but wow, humans really want this, right? And so that was the ba- the thesis for the company was what kind of engagement is happening around content that content owners have no clue about? And from there, we started to really go down, you can, you know, and realize this, this is not a market you have to invent, just like Facebook didn't invent friendships, right? It's just that because of video being a pre-internet technology, it just really wasn't built for that immersive relationship that that everybody's used to on the internet. And so you're losing your customer as a content owner and to other people. And so we figured, hey, let's let's see if we can't reinvent the way that this might go down. If you did want to know that that pink hoodie that Suki was wearing on episode X season Y at that exact moment. That really was the genesis of why we started Source. 